the advice of the opinions and views of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Ang paggarbi, masanto siyo sa labi in si kayo amin, maya pa bengi keka, maing gabi sa Tibok Luzon, Visayas o sa Mindanao, buenas noches, bismillah, rahmanirahim, aswalam alaikum warahmatullahi talak warakatu. Iba't ibang salita, subalit nagkakaisa sa iisang republika. Ako po si Eric Espina at sa gabing ito ay mapalad po tayo sapagkat makakausap natin. We will be able to talk to a personality who somehow was very active in the last elections but... Well, in the in the two other elections, rather, uh, we're fortunate to have him. We have none other than uh, I'll call him Brother Nur Miswari. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Eric. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, good evening to everybody. Good evening to you, sir. Uh, good evening, din sa lahat and uh, mga kababayan namin across Southeast Asia, uh, particularly Mindanao, Visayas, and Luzon. I would like to greet them to begin with. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi taala wa barakatuh. Mm -hmm. uh, first question that uh, our public would like to find out, uh, Noor, is uh, what is now the status of the uh, current peace talks with the, with the government, as far as the MNLF is concerned? Uh, I think uh, from the look of things, mm -hmm. uh, we are moving smoothly mm -hmm. towards the closure of the peace process. And uh, we are expecting that uh, before the end of the year, mm -hmm. Uh, things would come in place. As a matter of fact, uh, on the 8th of this month mm -hmm. until the 12th, that's five year, uh, five day uh, uh, process, peace process, we will uh, again uh, meet in, at the Indonesian Embassy in mm -hmm. Makati. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's going to be a formal uh, peace talks to be followed by another. Uh, minor review mm -hmm. of the uh, outcome of our talks and then the uh, fourth high level tripartite meeting at the ministerial level mm -hmm. where ministers from the Islamic conference would mm -hmm. be expected to be present mm -hmm. and high level representatives from the GRP and also from the MNLF including myself would uh, be present. And I think uh, at that point in time, we expect that uh, there would be, uh, we will be bringing the peace process to an end mm -hmm. with the final signing of a new uh, peace agreement. Mm -hmm. So far, um, has the government uh, been amenable to uh, the MNLF in terms of uh, continuing with the peace process? How has this new government been as far yes, as... Yes, as a matter of fact, uh, they are quite positive. Uh -huh. Uh, last Sunday, there was an informal meeting, and uh, the day lay after I just arrived from uh, Indonesia, mm -hmm. our legal partner informed me about the uh, positive outcome of the uh, informal uh, talks, and they told me that uh, both parties are now angling to, you know, to uh, accelerate the momentum of the peace process. Uh, because they uh, want to catch up with the uh, present uh, session of Congress. Because uh, at the end of the day, they will have to uh, present the outcome mm -hmm. of the peace talks to Congress mm -hmm. for its uh, action. Because the agreement that we reached in uh, Jakarta mm -hmm. in 1996, way back in 1996, mm -hmm. uh, was to the effect that uh, the 
for a final uh, a drop organic law mm -hmm. would have to be uh, uh, you know to be made mm -hmm. by the parties on a tripartite uh, level mm -hmm. and then this uh, uh, drop laws would be uh, you know would be produced in three forms mm -hmm. uh, three uh, copies rather mm -hmm. one copy to be sent to the president of mm -hmm. the republic of the philippines mm -hmm. whoever he or she might be yes. and then one to the secretary of the islamic conference his mm -hmm. excellency uh, professor Lek maludine sanoglo from mm -hmm. the republic of turkey mm -hmm. and one to the chairman of the mnla mm -hmm. uh, in the case of the uh, uh, copy uh, of the President of the Republic of the Philippines, uh, the, the President would be obliged to endorse that as an urgent bill to Congress. Yes. And uh, uh, that would be transformed into an organic mm -hmm. law yes. to replace or to amend, uh, effectively amend the Republic Act 1954, mm -hmm. the current uh, organic act now that governs the, the conduct of the arm. Um, yes. The ticklish <coughs> points between the GRP and the MNLF, have they been solved already? Are there any ticklish uh, issues which still have to be resolved? I think uh, by and large all this mm -hmm. problem uh, already uh, in the process of being uh, effectively overcome. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I was told when I was in uh, uh, Jakarta a few days ago, mm -hmm. the uh, my the alternate uh, legal peace partner uh, leader of mm -hmm. our uh, organization, mm -hmm. uh, Attorney Bong Parcasio, mm -hmm. uh, called me up to inform me. He said, "Sir, uh, practically all major issues have been done away with. Mm -hmm. uh, there are only." Uh, the spending uh, issue of a transitional mechanism, mm -hmm. you see, because uh, we are talking in terms of the implementation of the uh, first and foremost, if you remember Eric, mm -hmm. uh, way back uh, in uh, 1976, mm -hmm. in December, mm -hmm. I had signed an agreement with yes. the government uh, panel in Tripoli, Tripoli known yes. as the Tripoli Peace Agreement, mm -hmm that called for the establishment of a Bangsamoro autonomy mm -hmm. uh, equipped with its uh, special regional security forces mm -hmm. and then uh, to cover 13, now 15 provinces mm -hmm. and uh, plus 9, now 12 cities or so. Uh, and, uh, uh, but until now, we are still uh, a little bit at a large uh, how, how uh, we could get this eventually implemented. Mm -hmm. Now I think the the uh, the process is uh, almost coming to an end. Mm -hmm. And you're very positive about this. Very very positive now. Mm -hmm. I am very uh, uh, grateful to the new administration for the positive uh, attitude they are taking towards peace in Mindanao. I think uh, the new government uh, really wants to have peace in Mindanao. Mm -hmm. Uh, there are other dynamics that is happening in, in, in southern Mindanao. Uh, this is the reason why uh, I think the former president, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, came out with a, uh, with a, uh, a bill, if I'm not uh, mistaken, that attempts to divide the a a ARMM into uh, two authorities. Uh, that's uh, House Bill 173. Um, are you for it? Are you against it? The intent of uh, the former president, uh, supported by the son, is to divide the current a ARMM. Well, I think that will plunge Mindanao into a crisis situation. Mm -hmm. And uh, nobody will benefit from that kind of action because that mm -hmm. is, retro uh, that is uh, retrogressive mm -hmm. in character. What we want now is to... Uh, uh, address the problem in a holistic way mm -hmm. uh, because I have uh, visited practically all major places in Mindanao mm -hmm. sometimes two, three, even ten times like that to mm -hmm. confer with the people there and uh, you know uh, to the best of my knowledge mm -hmm. both the Highlanders and the Christians generally would, w would want to have a one single autonomy for yes. the whole of Mindanao because they didn't want division, mm -hmm. because division could uh, lead into a collision course among us. We don't like. Mm 
yes. especially the Highlanders. They said we belong to one family only mm -hmm. because we happen to have come from uh, two brothers, mm -hmm. blood brothers, mm -hmm. you see. Uh, and so they said uh, don't uh, uh, leave us behind. We must be part of that. And also the our Christian brothers and sisters led by the uh, for the Ilaga movement. Mm -hmm. uh, they in fact uh, uh, before I went to Jakarta, uh, I flew from uh, in a helicopter with my wife from uh, 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 Davao City to Maramag, mm -hmm. and to just to be catch up with a meeting there. It was an urgent meeting among Highlanders mm -hmm. and the uh, Christian uh, the Christian. Uh, alliance allies and they asked me to be present you know what they did was they prick their uh, fingers like this uh -huh. the thumb and then they signed a manifesto demanding for the inclusion of their territory uh -huh. Bukidnon, Misamis, Surigawa, Gusan, yes. Yes. Compostela, name it all of this they said no we uh -huh. cannot be divided uh -huh. because if you divide if you allow the division of our homeland, we might end up uh, bickering among ourselves and that will not be healthy for all of us. How do you see the uh, current negotiations of the government vis-a-vis -vis the MILF? Uh, will it augur well for uh, unity well, uh, in Mindanao or will this worsen the situation if the GRP continues to negotiate with the MILF? Well, anyway, Eric, in the first place, this, uh, I want to be honest about it. Yes. This is a sabotage of our 1996 peace, yes. uh, peace process. Mm -hmm. Uh, I remember I was uh, across the table, the last sitting mm -hmm. in Jakarta. The late Ambassador Yan was uh, the other side, mm -hmm. uh, pl flanked by uh, uh, Nabil Tan yes. and the former governor also of uh, uh, Kutabatu, mm -hmm. uh, Sambulawan, the late Sambulawan. Then there was, uh, you know, Alexander Laguerre, General Laguerre, mm -hmm. a very prominent uh, general in the armed forces, and also, uh, I think he was national you know, security former, advisor then. Yes, all of them yes, very, yes. and some senators and some uh, congressmen mm -hmm. like that. Uh, and they said, they told me, tomorrow uh, we are going to initial our agreement mm -hmm. after a long pro process. Mm -hmm. uh, it took us four years mm -hmm. to consolidate the whole peace process. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but uh, we'd like to inform more at the same time also that uh, as soon as we finish signing, we will commen uh, commence uh, our peace process with the MILEP. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, tongue-tied. In mm -hmm. fact, I was taken aback by that. I said, uh, Mr. Ambassador, why not just wait for the peace process to be a proven a failure mm -hmm. if this peace process or peace agreement will mm -hmm. fail then you are free to but because we cannot give anything other than uh, you know this uh, the territory yes. the territory is already committed to us in yes. the triple agreement mm -hmm. in the Jeddah visa code etc etc well he said this is the uh, decision of the uh, high authority our principal in Manila and I said who is behind this they said the Malaysians are uh, Malaysian government are, uh, is supporting the MILF. Supporting, yes. In the fact. MILF, yes. Well, I think this is very bad. Why Malaysia has to interfere in our internal affairs? Mm -hmm. And that's why, in fact, I remember uh, I was with uh, Senator Biason in Chambuanga City yes. and also Mayor, uh, his, the Honorable, Honorable Mayor, yeah, Mayor Lobrigat. And the uh, former governor, uh, vice governor? Yes, they were there. Uh -huh. And they raised the question. They said, uh, what about this peace process between the MILF and the government? That was still during the last, uh, the tail end of the uh, tenure of mm -hmm. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Mm -hmm. They said, uh, what about the involvement of Malaysia here? Mm -hmm. They said, nobody, you know, I can tell you, you, you may verify this from uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Honorable Senator, uh, former Senator uh, Biasan, or Senator Biasan. Yes. He, he was my guest previously. Oh, really? Yes, oh, yes. yeah? Uh -huh. He said, oh, no, we don't like Malaysia to get involved here because uh -huh. they are the troublemakers here. Uh -huh. Because why do they have to get involved? Because they are an interested party over the, this piece of land known as uh, Sabah. North, North Borneo, Sabah uh -huh. and Sarawak. Uh -huh. Because uh, but we told them, uh, you know, 
This land belonged to my great great grandfather. Okay. The Panglima Elige was my great. I'm a direct descendant. Okay. And uh, this was a uh, uh, reward for his service to the uh, king of Brunei. Correct. You see, the king of Brunei was taken hostage with his entire family, mm -hmm. and before they they would be uh, slaughtered or uh, you know beheaded, they were able to ask my great great grandfather to intercede. Yes. So he went there with 1,400 forces, and was able to secure the yes. safety of this. Before he left. The king uh, pleaded with him, please leave behind uh -huh. one half of your forces. So, so that's why you have many relatives in uh, uh -huh. Brunei and in Sabah like that. Uh -huh. Thousands and thousands of them in all places. And so the place, and they said, voluntarily, you have this uh, area now. North, the entire North Borneo, I'm satisfied with this small area. So Malaysia so cannot be a, a, a referee, so to speak. A neutral referee in this because, case? Because uh, they are an interested party. You know, their uh, objective is already suspect. Why do they have to interfere in, the, in our internal affairs? There is a resolution in, uh, uh, of the OIC in Sudan, of which uh, uh, Malaysia is a member, an active member of the OIC, 57 member states. Mm -hmm. This is the second largest uh, uh, pan uh, or international movement in the whole world, next mm -hmm. only to the United Nations. Mm -hmm. Malaysia is a part of this. Mm -hmm. And they say that uh, OIC uh, has no right whatsoever to interfere in the internal affairs of the Moro National Liberation Front and our people, brothers in Mindanao. Mm -hmm. But they are insisting in violation of that. Mm -hmm. So... I, I have it here, uh, OIC FM Resolution Number 18. In 1974, from Kuala Lumpur, the MNLF is the sole, uh, rightful, and legitimate representative of the Moro people. So, that is, on, on, on what basis, therefore, is the MLF uh, speaking or talking to the government of the Philippines? Well, they have no, they, they have no right. They have no basis whatsoever. That's why OIC is not supposed to be there, mm -hmm. and uh, Malaysia is insisting. I think. Uh, what is their uh, interest? Wh why do they want to meddle in the internal affairs of the Philippines? Because according to my information, I don't know how accurate, yes. uh, our brothers in the MRLF have pledged to abandon uh, Sabbath to them okay. once they succeed. Uh -huh. I said, well, what, the, what do they have uh, to do with the Sabah? They have no right whatsoever. Yes. Uh -huh. Sabah belongs to the people of Sulu, yes. to, my, to my clan in, yes, in yes. particular. And uh, I don't think uh, Jim Murad uh, uh, has the right to, you know, he has no say whatsoever. In fact, I told the Malaysian government at one time, even if you succeed, I said, to conclude uh, an agreement over the fate of North Borneo, Sabah yeah. and Sarawak, 101 times a day, that will, be, uh, that will not be valid to us. We will not, uh, we'll not be bound by that. Because you will not be uh, uh, negotiating with the right uh, party. You should negotiate with the right party. Mm -hmm. uh, and the right party could only be the right owner of this land. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's what I told them. Uh, you see, some people from the mi Prime Minister office during the time of Mahathir, Dr. Mahathir. Just Dado Makapagal has a 10-page single-space uh, letter about this issue. And, uh, of course, this is just more or less a, a rough... Uh, interpretation, but more or less he is warning future governments that any act to give up Sabah will not be a guarantee that future other Philippine presidents will not recognize such an illegitimate act and may still continue to pursue the well, return of Sabah. I think that was a very wise decision yes. on the part of our late uh, Diosdado president, Diosdado Magapagal. Yes. Uh, uh, I think we should uh, honor that legacy and we should not allow any government to uh, interfere in this. In fact, uh, uh, one former, uh, uh, former speaker of Congress had called me up one time. Mm -hmm. Brother Noli said, uh, I will not uh, mention the name. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I know who it is. Yes. <laughs> uh, I would like to ask you uh, to avoid uh, you know, talking about uh, Sabah. Mm -hmm. We just sell this for a hundred billion dollars mm -hmm. and we give you the greater portion of that to you personally. I said, no, no, no. Even if you bring the whole money from the World Bank and the IMF, mm -hmm. we will not sell. One square inch of, of Sabah and Sarawak 
they are, uh, uh, I said, sacred to us. And we have no right to sell, to alienate. You remember I said, what happened to uh, Alaska? It was sold to the uh, uh, great, uh, key, no, uh, Emperor, Empress uh, Catherine the Great mm -hmm. for only seven million dollars to the Americans. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, if you sell that back to the, uh, they will give you trillions and trillions of dollars just to get back the territory, Sab uh, I mean, Sa Sarawak, not, uh, I mean, Alaska, not only for the oil. And this one is strategic for us. Correct, correct. It's part of our survival. Correct. Sabah, Sarawak is part of our survival. We're going to pause for a few reminders. Uh, and, and when we come back, uh, I'd like to ask uh, Noor here whether part of the deal with the MILF and the Malaysians is that if the MILF succeeds originally in their uh, Bangsa Moro juridical entity, that uh, part of the deal was supposed to be to indeed give away uh, Sabah. Mm. Although it is very interesting, Brother Noor, that uh, they're talking about ancestral domain. This is why I'm asking also the MILF, if they succeeded, had they suc succeeded, would they, are they willing to openly say that they will run after Sabah as part of the ancestral domain of the people of Mindanao when we return? Okay, muli po nagbabalik ang ating uh, programa Republika. Ako pa rin po si Eric Espina. Kausap po natin si Brother Lord Miswari. Meron po tayong uh, nabibiting uh, katanungan dito. Uh, kung matatandaan ang ating uh, publiko, nagkaroon ng plano na itatag itong uh, Bangsamoro Juridical Entity na mukhang pangungunahan yata ng MILF. Na parang hindi yata nasama ang MNLF dito. Um, I, 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 of, as far as your information is concerned, Brother Noor, what was the intent for this? Was this supposed to be the price for the MILF? Uh, was the BJMP also supported by the, MI, uh, the, the Malaysians? Well, actually, sa amin ay uh, uh, wala naman kaming concrete uh, documents in our hands. Mm. Uh, they're a little bit elusive about this. <laughs> but ang nadingig namin, may dalawang promise sila. First, uh, promise na dingig namin is to abandon Sabah. Mm -hmm. I told them, uh, you should tell the leadership or brothers in the MRLF, they have no right Correct. to interfere in deciding uh, the fate of uh, Sabah mm -hmm. because that is our territory, the Correct. Tausug, the Samal like that, and especially my own clan. Yes. And to a certain extent, the Sultanate, the remaining, uh, you know, these uh, people, the ears to the Sultanate of Sulu yes. somehow. Yes. And, uh, and secondly, Nadingig Gurin, I don't know how true. I hope it's not true. Mm -hmm. That's why the Americans are insisting in uh, uh, building up their presence in Mindanao because mm -hmm. they are expecting that once uh, there would be peace with, um, with the Philippine government, mm -hmm. then they will allow the, the Americans to establish their uh, military base, base uh -huh. in Mindanao. Mm -hmm. I don't have uh, concrete evidences, but that's, that's, the, uh, uh, wide, that's the most widespread talks around. And that's why uh, for the last 10 years or so, the Americans have been there. Mm -hmm. I am not against the Americans, no, mm -hmm. but I just don't like to have to see the presence of foreign powers, foreign military powers in our homeland because, you know, today it's very, very delicate, especially if you look at the uh, uh, economic confrontation uh, in the world today, uh, especially with the emergence of, uh, of China now as the second largest economy in the mm -hmm. world. Over uh, overtaking uh, uh, Japan as late, as mm -hmm. recent as last August, mm -hmm. you see. So now they are the number two, and we know very well that first, uh, the second world war was, I mean, the world was plunged into war because of economic problem. Mm -hmm. And so now, the American uh, 
researchers are saying uh, that the next war would also be uh, plans or would also be caused by competition over the economy of the world. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a steep competition between China uh, on the one hand and uh, the Americans on the mm -hmm. other, and uh, of course Japan a third placer. Uh -huh. okay. But uh, you see, uh, as I've said, we are not against the Americans, uh -huh. the American people and government, but we just don't want any power, even the Arab uh, nations, we don't welcome them to put up any military power or power force or presence in uh, Mindanao. Brother we don't no, like. Brother No, let me ask you a question. Do you think a strong Philippines, a united Philippines, is the, an, an economically viable Philippines? Do you think it is the greatest threat to Malaysia? Well, of course, the uh, Philippines has a very strong uh, <laughs> potential, very yes. big potential. And do they fear that? I yes, think they are course. fearful of that. Uh, well, oil has uh, started sprouting from there, you know, 800 million barrels just to start with light crude in uh, near Mapun Islands, mm -hmm. plus 1.2 trillion cubic feet of gas, just mm -hmm. found it recently. The uh, British Petroleum has found another huge uh, deposit in northern part of Palawan. And... Uh, there are many other potential areas for oil, for gas, etc., mm -hmm. etc., and for gold, name it. We are, Mindanao is, uh, I think, is one of the richest parts of the, of the world. If only we can stabilize our, our peace and order situation in Mindanao, consolidate the unity of the country like that, uh, and get uh, our territory that we have uh, lost to other powers, I think very soon we become... Uh, a mini superpower in this do, part of the world. Do you agree with uh, my question a while ago that I said that if had the MILF been successful with, with, with the BJ, uh, BJMB, uh, they were after the ancestral domain. Do you think they would have pursued Sabah? No, that's impossible. We <laughs> have already, uh, they have already, according to the information, they have already, uh, uh, you know, have already pledged to the Malaysians. That's why Malaysians are so earnest in supporting them. So to prevent the success of the uh -huh. MIL, MNLF, GRP, or ICP's process. Because they want the MILF to grab the power in Mindanao so that the MILF can declare, okay, Malaysia, you can have Sabah. But you and I agree that Sabah is part of the ancestral domain of the Philippines. Well, okay, it's part of our okay. land. It's our part of our land. Uh -huh. what, what is your advice to the MILF and to the Malaysian authorities? I think the first thing is they have to wait... Uh, uh, I think it's a better part of wisdom on the part mm -hmm. to, you know, to keep their calm for a while, allow the peace process now, the ongoing mm -hmm. peace process with the, mm -hmm. uh, between the GRP and the MRF and the OIC. If we succeed, we they have to support according to uh, our agreement with uh, the late, uh, the late uh, Ustad Salamat Hasim. Mm -hmm. I went to visit him three times. Mm -hmm. The last time he had by, he told me, Brother Noor, in the presence of the ambassador of, uh, of Libya, mm -hmm. uh, Asaruk, Brother Noor shook, shook my hands. Mm -hmm. Ajib Murad and others were present. Some of my leaders were on the other side of the table. Brother Noor stood up, and I stood up also. If you succeed to get mm -hmm. a genuine uh, uh, peace uh, for our people, or mm -hmm. genuine autonomy for our people, there is absolutely no need for us to go to continue on fighting. Mm -hmm. We will support you. Mm -hmm. Except that, just uh, to forewarn you, you know, we we are also uh, watching uh, the you know the every every step uh, being taken by the government, and we are not fully convinced that they are sincere. Mm -hmm. That was during the time of Corazon Aquino. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, so therefore, I want to ask you: if we get independence, he said. Mm -hmm. Through our means, will you be the first one to uh, uh, to extend your hands of congratulations to us? Mm -hmm. I said, I promise you, mm -hmm. not only just to congratulate you, mm -hmm. but I will ask the MRF to join you and support you if you get independence for our people. Mm -hmm. Besides, I will go and fly and fly to America because the Berkeley University, mm -hmm. University of California, was asking me to write two books for them: reconstruction of our revolutionary experiences. Mm -hmm. So I said. Uh, uh, as soon as uh, I am free or freed from my, uh, you know, uh, work here, 
I can go to the National Seminary, write two books mm -hmm. for, for the, like that, reconstruction of our uh, revolutionary experience. My, my own sources regarding the uh, MILF and the uh, plan for the MOA AD and the Bangsamoro juridical entity was that, according to my sources, had it been uh, successful, uh, na about 14 or 40 now, uh, I'm, I'm a little hard uh, hearing at that time, 14 or 40 uh, billion ringgits would have been given to the MILF uh, by Malaysia. Yeah, that is had, it, had it succeeded? Even more. Even, even more, more. Even more, in fact. They were, they were, do, that's why do, they do they want to create a buffer zone in, in the Philippines? Does Not Malaysia only want buffer, because they want to, to transform in the now into their neo-colonial position by establishing uh, what they call Kalapa Sawi Empire. You're talking Empire. about Malaysia? A Kalapa Sawi Empire. Uh -huh. They started in uh, one part of uh, Land of their Sur. Mm -hmm. in, uh, I have gone to that place, but it failed. Mm -hmm. In fact, they tried to turn over the plantation, 500 hectares to me, but I rejected. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm not a, fra a farmer, I'm a, uh, I'm a fisherman. Mm -hmm. If you give me hook and lines, maybe I will accept, mm -hmm. but not, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like uh, Kalapasau kala plantations. Because they had lost uh, so much money already. Now I think, I heard it has collapsed already. Is, is the Malaysian supporting the MILF funds, training? Uh, political, diplomatic uh, support? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, uh, I don't know. I just, uh, but I, I or would you like to brother, say no comment? <laughs> brother uh, Jim Murad has uh, Connections. a large uh, residence in, uh, by, near the IIU, International Islamic University. He has a place there. Mm -hmm. and uh, He has very close relationship with them. I cannot b vouch to any such allegation, but uh -huh. uh, you, anyone can just have his own guess uh -huh. on this. Wh why aren't we talking to the Indonesians as a third-party referee? Um, that's my first question. Uh, if, if Malaysia is viewed to be you know, a party in interest, why not the, the Indonesians, like that before? That was the proposal of the committee, of uh, Senate committee, under uh, the Honorable Senator Biazon, uh, Biazon said, mm -hmm. Uh, rather than allow Indonesia, uh, Malaysia, Malaysia, which has a you know a very uh, suspicious interest over our land, mm -hmm. uh, as part of their you know, Indone Malaysia is implementing the uh, Bismarckian uh, uh, you know political ideology. They call this Lebensraum, mm -hmm. expanding their territory mm -hmm. for their own survival and security mm -hmm. at our expense. But I don't like this to happen. Well, why should we need also our land for our children? Correct. You see, why should uh, Malaysia? I think the best thing for Malaysia is now to give up Sabah, to give up Sarawak, mm -hmm. return back the land of the uh, of Brunei because mm. the official area of of, of uh, Brunei, Was taken which over? contained their oil, mm -hmm. has been uh, uh, incorporated by them, mm -hmm. and also a portion of Sarawak, you see, has been taken over by them. And, uh, of course, the whole territory of our people, uh, you know, part of Sarawak and part of, uh, and, and the whole of, uh, of Sabah, taken over by them. For what reason? They are very, very far away from us. Mm -hmm. There never was any history of Malays or Malaysian <laughs> having been there. Uh -huh. In fact, today, you cannot find Malaysians in our territories in Sabah and Sarawak. No Malaysians, mm -hmm. except only for their occupation Royal Armed Forces, uh -huh. under occupation field forces, and some uh, heads of uh, directors of offices and like that. You and, see? And, and people in Sabah say that they are very unhappy with the way Kuala Lumpur is treating them. Is that correct? No, no, no. In fact, in... Uh, because many of the resources from Sabah ends up going to Kuala Lumpur. You know, in fact, uh, I don't know if they have changed already. Mm -hmm. The sharing system of the oil and the gas, only 5% goes to the state. 95% mm -hmm. goes to uh, Kuala Lumpur. Mm -hmm. It's a very voracious uh, system. <laughs> I like that word, voracious. I, I cannot understand uh -huh. why uh, they do this to our people there. Uh -huh. And you know, in Sabah, the great majority of the population are Tausug and Sama. They yes. are the Tausug speaking people. Uh -huh. We speak the tongue of my mother and the uh -huh. tongue of my father. I have thousands and thousands of families there. You see? So, uh, Brother but, Noor, this begs the question. Why is therefore the government continuously talking to the MILF? If you are the legitimate, the sole representative, the rightful representative of the Bangsamoro people? 
Well, I think uh, they are just kowtowing to the pressure of the Malaysians. And this is very wrong on the part. This will alienate the government. If the government, the closer they get to the Malaysians, the farther they get to us. Mm -hmm. But the, clo the farther they, they come, this is the chemistry here. The farther they are from Malaysia, the closer they get to us. But I notice you use the word kowtow. Could it be also financial kowtowing? Because I, I, my own sources say that uh, there are certain uh, very high officials who have uh, bank accounts in that Malaysian that, area. Yeah, I know you, are, you have uh, done a lot of research yes. on this work. I, uh, you know, I can only tell you that this is not impossible. It is highly possible. It is highly possible. Could it be possible that Malaysia also funds certain national uh, politicians well, in, in, fact, in uh, the elections? Before the signing of the MOA mm -hmm. in the Tripoli, uh, before the signing in, uh, in uh, what do you call that, in uh, Kuala Lumpur, yes. or in uh, uh, their new capital, uh, in fact, there was a lot of money flying around. Mm -hmm. yeah. I heard that um, some of these deposits are in Dabuan. <laughs> <laughs> I will just uh, look at you smiling yeah, and now you yeah, can understand. Of course, uh, of course. That's uh, right. If you see officers going to Labuan, that means they are going That's where it's deposited. Yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, I don't like to be drawn into that because okay. it's too dangerous for me. Uh -huh. I want to, uh, you know, just maintain my uh, uh, quietude and my good relationship with the government and like that. The government is trying to get the MNLF and the MILF to join together and to accept a win-win situation. But uh, how do you see the MILF? I mean, th they have no business yes, in yes, this peace uh, process. That reminds me, Eric, of, mm. uh, of the initiative of the OIC in mm. Tajikistan. Mm -hmm. last, uh, last May, I was in Tajikistan, and uh, they invited uh, uh, Brother Haji Murad mm -hmm. as a guest, mm -hmm. not as an observer. Mm -hmm. Just a mere guest, mm. just to, to be sure that he will be present in my, when, uh, when I'm there. Mm -hmm. Because they tried before to arrange a meeting between myself and uh, my brother Jimurad in Jeddah, but mm -hmm. I did not have time to go there. Mm -hmm. He waited for a month or so, uh, but I, I didn't, just could not find time to go to. Mm -hmm. So they tried to be sure that, you know, the two could meet. Mm -hmm. And then when we met, the first question was, now the OIC wants you to unite. Mm -hmm. Ajim Muraj said, uh, I think he will be honest enough if he's listening. He said, no, no, we cannot unite because mm. they have leadership. We have leadership. Uh -huh. oh, so the OIC mediator said, if you cannot unite, why not uh, just coordinate? Yes. I said, there's, there's no need to talk about this. We, are already, we already have signed an agreement uh -huh. uh, in the presence of the sun of uh, Muammar Gaddafi, the great uh -huh. leader of uh, Libya. Of Libya. Yes. He came one time mm -hmm. and uh, I accompanied him to, before the war, before the Camp Abu Bakr war. Mm -hmm. uh, accompanied him to Sarmiento where Jim Murad was uh, staying and we signed an agreement. Not myself, but I authorized a Muslim in Sema before he betrayed us <laughs> okay. with this 15. Mm -hmm. And uh, my brother, uh, the late uh, Sad Salamat, who was, uh, uh, you know, suffering from uh, some sickness. Yes, yes. And it was Ramadan. He said, I could not come there. I would just mm -hmm. authorize uh, Jim Murad to sign on my behalf. So mm -hmm. the two sign on. Uh, that's to, un to uh, create uh, some kind of a coordinating agency so mm -hmm. that the two organizations could work harmoniously uh -huh. and then uh, to avoid any trouble. And besides, I told them, if we succeed with this experiment, then we will we should invite the uh, you know the police yes. authority to join us yes. so we enlarge the dimension of our yes, security yes, yes. Uh, activities here and uh, still if we uh, succeed why not invite the ambassadors of the Philippines yes. so the four of us will okay. uh, uh, work in ha hand in hand to p uh, to promote peace in Mindanao I think that's the only way. Uh, to uh, ensure peace in Mindanao. Well, uh, sayang po dahil napkulang po ang panahon natin at uh, habang umiinit, eh, talagang painit ng painit. Kung yari, kaya lang bitin ang ating usapan dito. Uh, hopefully, the next succeeding days, we will, or sec next succeeding months, we will be able to see how the peace process will go. We can invite again Brother Noor oh, to be uh, our guest. Welcome. Uh, dagang salamat. Right, uh, Maraming salamat Eric, po. Uh, it's, it's very, very... Uh, 
a great opportunity to be invited to your uh, program. Mm -hmm. I think the people should, uh, uh, you know, uh, listen to this program. It's mm -hmm. a very interesting one. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hope, uh, as you have said, uh, we can come back to this, uh, you know, to this uh, studio yeah. and enlighten the people about the uh, outcome of the uh, peace ongoing peace process between the OIC, uh -huh. GRP, and the MNLF. And okay. Thank you once again. Thank you very much. At uh, tulad ng binabanggit ko po, magmasid, makialam, higit sa lahat, manindigan po. Sapagkat wala pong magmamahal sa Pilipino kung hindi ang Pilipino. This has been Eric Espina. Daghang salamat. Mahing gabi, kanyang talaga. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.